So this is the unboxing and review of a budget tablet from Samsung. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. This is the 8 gigs and 128 gigs of uh, storage version. I'll explain in the video later why uh, I've gone with this version. First part in this video is the unboxing and setup of this and then I'll also come back to review this device. Uh, and I'll also be comparing with other devices in this uh, price segment. Feel free to jump to the section whichever you're most interested in. So let's begin the unboxing. So I've bought this from Samsung shop and I would also recommend to check out deals there because we get a lot of discounts there. This is the box that we get. Ah, there it is. On the side you will see this uh, storage option. So we need to break the seal from here. And on this side. You can open this side and then just remove the box from here. So first we have the tablet itself. We'll keep this aside for now. So in the box we just get some paperwork, a SIM ejection tool, basically this is just the Wi-Fi version. So this is to eject the micro SD card slot and the cable that we get is type C to type C, which is a good thing actually, because even in budget tablets, sometimes we get the type A cable, but yeah, that does support faster charging in like one, those OnePlus tabs. But yeah, this is type C to type C. So this is one of those cables that you can use with other devices as well. Coming to the tablet itself and just open this packaging here. And we can take our tablet out. This is a navy blue color that I went with. As you can see, it already has got fingerprints and smudges here. So if you don't like that, then you can go for the silver color that this has. The overview, we have the power button and the volume rockers here. Note that this does not come with any fingerprint sensor or anything. You can only use the face ID from this camera. And that is just like pictorial uh, recognition that does not house any face ID, hardware or anything. It is just basic uh, photo recognition. These are pogo pins here for the keyboard, but I really don't know if Samsung has officially have a keyboard for this tablet basically, because they have it for the S9 FE and higher versions like the S9 series basically, but I don't know if it's, it connects to those uh, keyboards. Because I tried to look at this in other videos and other reviews, but uh, I, don't, I didn't see any official Samsung keyboard yet for this. People usually connect it with some third party USB keyboard. But yeah, I do like the color because it goes with my MacBook Air M2, which is also midnight color. So this would be aligned with that. Board speakers with this device and also the type C charging port here. I'll just go ahead and boot it up. I must say that in, in my initial impressions, I like the weight distribution of this tablet. It does not feel too heavy and not even too light or cheap. So it sits right in the midway there. So it's good for a budget tablet, I would say, because this feel does feel premium to me. It does not feel like a budget tablet at all. You can agree to this, this and send diagnostic. Some people do not prefer this uh, due to privacy reasons, but yeah, I'm fine with it. Agree. Easy setup with another device. So actually I, I use a Samsung phone and so I can easily set this up with my Samsung phone. But the thing is that I'm recording with my Samsung phone. So I'll just go ahead and set up manually. And I think the 11 inch size that this tablet comes with is an ideal size in my opinion. Anything smaller than this would just come closer to your mobile phone size. Anything larger than this would not be too comfortable in your hands to hold. So I reached to this screen where it asked me to copy data from some other device when I selected don't copy. It took me a second attempt to get to this screen. I'm not sure why. I'll just skip this for now. Oh, 
On this page, you can select your default search engine, and of course, I prefer Google. This has options of face recognition, pin, password pattern. I would just go with face recognition. Now it's asking me to get these recommended apps, which I don't recommend at all. So is there an option? Yeah, I just deselected it. Okay. Next. I'll skip all these steps. You can later on sign in with your Google ID so that would basically sync all your apps and all your backups and everything. So we're in this tablet now and first impressions of the display is that yeah the PPI count is low and I could I could see some pixels even from this distance but yeah I think that is something that you would get used to and not notice it of course it's a budget tablet and if this is something that bothers you please go check it out in a store if this is something that bothers you then you should jump up to the S9 or S9 FE version because that has an IPS LCD display with a higher PPI. This one has a TFT display, which is actually, which goes easy on your eyes, but the quality is not up to that point. But I must say, the budget tablets have come uh, really far now, because uh, like a couple of years back, even this display on budget tablet would have been so like low quality, but this one is a Samsung display and a TFT display, which Samsung has really implemented really well. Yeah, so this was the unboxing and setup. I'll come back with my review also. I'll let you know how this device holds up uh, against all the other devices in this segment and whether you should go for this uh, tablet or not depending on your use case.